Good afternoon, it's time for more Sari Yogir. The Glass Cannon Nation. That doesn't really use any cannons. So I'm going to stream for a short while, maybe about an hour and a half this morning, just to get me warmed up for the dev multiplayer, at the very least. And uh, I'd forgotten, but I am at war with Yarkand and their good friend Delhi. And... Yeah, just a bit outnumbered. And I'd forgotten the bundle candor there as well. I'm just hoping that they stroll into my lovely nation, preferably Central Doab, and I can run in and run them down. Meanwhile, Bukhara can take the brunt of Yarkand, but I do need to smash Delhi rather quickly, whilst I'm boasting very little manpower and piddling amounts of money. So we'll see how that goes, because he seems to be rather stuck in his Delian ways. And one of the other problems is that Delhi have quite a few forts on their land. So it's not like I can very swiftly uh, break through them. Oh, we're losing quite a bit of money each month. What is he even trying to do? I don't think even he knows. But at the very least I can get my lands converted whilst all this nonsense is going on. Seems like he goes north, realizes he's too weak, and then comes back south. The tricky thing is, none of his land... Well, maybe one of his provinces gives me uh, a bit of a defensive bonus, so I'd be safe-ish sieging up Salicott. What is he trying? Come on, get into my land. That's more like it. Unfortunately, I would rather be attacking than defending here, because that way I get to do more damage. I also need to have my general here in time. As in, on the day. Right, their movement locked, so I know this battle is going to happen. Uh. I just wish I had somewhat of a better general for it, but I don't think rolling will get me a better one. Artillery fire and shock won't help us here. You know what, let's take a risk. We got mill points to spare. Nope, it was but a waste. Well, let's hope for the best. So yeah, they do less shock damage to me, but I would have rather been the one to deal more shock damage to them. And we still have that 10% discipline penalty that's going to be hurting, so let's just try and run them through as best we can. Whew. Better than I imagined. Thank you, morale. A lot of that down to being Varshayana. Also, thank you, no uh, reinforcement costs. So we should really just run them down. Where are they running to? I hope they don't run to Multan, because it's the one province I can't get to thanks to their fort in Lahore. But we'll try and chase them down anyway. At, le at the very least, we can loot whilst we're in their lands. And absolutely, Malwa, we should make the marriage. Oh, wow, that's rather nice. You'll get called into this war against Delhi, who is your ally. Sure, <laughs> what a guy. Ah, a bit of good luck from time to time. Kinda makes up for my incredibly uh, fragile rulers. Gotta get those ten to ones, I must say. Unfortunately, he is running to Multan, so there is little I can do about that. So, what we will do is, at the very least, occupy a few provinces whilst we still can. Thank you, Malwa. Ah, the glorious loot. Unfortunately, the manpower is not so glorious. And if he wants to concentrate on the, uh, the siege, then 
frankly, more power to you. But what I also need to do is make sure that the enemy won't be uh, throwing more troops our way, ones that they can recruit. I also need to stop these uh, forts from doing their zone of control jiggery pokery on me. Hmm. But I want the loot as well. I want it all, as usual. Okay, so Malwa, clever bunnies that they were, got military access. Oh, actually, not clever at all. They already have military access to their uh, March Nagur. So they didn't have to worry about uh, being unable to get to Multan. This gives us an opportunity to run them down. No, they're not uh, hanging around there, but that's fine. I will loot them for all they're worth, and we can worry about uh, Yarkand at a future date. <laughs> I could have gone from Jangladesh to Multan once I'd called him in, actually. But I had completely forgotten that Nagur was Malwa's march. It happens. So, for now, I just want to drain this guy dry. And I need those relations to be a bit sweeter with Ming, because for some reason they don't like me that much. That event is broken. Oh, this is just lovely. Thanks for the manpower. If we're going to be looting, we may as well loot the sieges that we uh, may as well loot the provinces that we're besieging. Ah, it is lovely when things just go my way. So, Jake, do you prefer the old fort system or the new fort system? I far prefer this new fort system. It's great. Okay, so I foresee that you're going to come down here and smash me here. So. We'll back ourselves up. Ah, oh, but I love the loot. Okay, here's my thinking. Even if you do attack me here, Malwa will back me up. So I'll leave one cannon in Lahore to get it done faster. Hello, Mong Yang. Ever the subservient vassal that you are. Strange that you would choose to attack me there, because again, Malwa will back me up. Heck, I will back me up. Although, if it is your intention to hurt my manpower, then... Oh, okay, no, he has no interest in that. Well, maybe, just maybe he wants to take care of Bundelkand. Again, I will back them up. I love all that loot. Almost makes me want to buy an advisor, because I do need those points. I don't want my ruler to be as uh, deathly ill as my previous Khans, but I certainly don't want that dunce reaching the throne. What does this guy want? Yeah, he definitely wants to fight in Bundelkhand then. Thankfully, we released you with Tech 12, and you don't have my pathetic troops either, so you should be able to do a good number on them. But I can't take that. Uh, for granted. Accumulate 200 ducats. It'll probably happen. Alright, I got you back, man. Maybe. Hopefully. Never underestimate Tech 12. If you underestimate Tech 12, this is what happens to you. You get Sarig Yogiard. Matsy saying, I remember when Jake used to get an average of 100 viewers a stream. I too miss those days. Simpler times they were. Alright, I hadn't even considered Bundelkand as a target, but I may just take it. The thing is, I severely need admin points to get my next idea, but I also really need some rich land. Now, there goes Delhi's alliance with Malwa, but they are still friendly towards each other. So, do they have any other...? Mm, I need to consider what I can do to Delhi to make sure that they 
stay far away from friendliness with Malwa. Also, finally, the north is secure. No more revolts up here. This one will be done soon as well, and we can all just pretend the hundred year mess of the north never happened. Could also get a bit more of that loot on the go. After all, I need to fulfill my destiny. Delhi have quite a lot of troops still up to the north, but when these provinces fall, they'll get out of this as well. <sighs> One down, many more to go. And yeah, I am looting this guy dry. Because I can. And I'm very grateful to Malwa taking care of Jarkand for me, because that's really none of his business, but he's doing it anyway. Okay, ridiculous amount of war score that I've got on you. So we'll put it to use. I think it's better in the long term to just grab the high development lands here and now. Oh, I didn't I never made him a co belligerent, of course, so they're going to be incredibly expensive. Well that means I'm taking war reparations for certain. But mm, ah, wrong person. War reparations for certain, but I can't really break you up with Malwa. So what can I do? I could give Malwa some of this land and then they would hate each other. But that would cost quite a bit. Whereas I would rather just take land for myself. Yikes, it is terrifyingly expensive. I may as well take Upper Doab since it is our claim, and we'll take whichever of these are the best. 22, 23. Or I can get these two. No, no, I cannot. Guess I'll have to settle for that, and I don't like settling. You'll have little choice once Delhi falls. Poor Sada. He never stood a ghost of a chance. Jake, what time does the DLC release? Uh, there's never really exact times, because Steam has a large part to play in that, and they're based in America. At least this is what I understand. I don't have intricate knowledge of this. And I hope I never will, because then people will keep asking me. The last uh, idea in religious is actually useless for me, so we're not bothering with that. I wonder if he can actually deny my 100% uh, war score things. If I'm not annexing him. I have forgotten how that all works. But getting him out of the war will be a huge amount of uh, troops that he can no longer throw at us up there. Not that he can really afford that as it is. Yeah, I was thinking about Bundelkand, but again, very expensive. And that's all you wrote. Cheers, big ears. not even going to worry about the autonomy because this area is so condensed that I don't even mind much when it's rising up against me. And since they have access to Afghanistan, we do as well, but I'd rather take the route through my own lands. Nothing to it. Oh, and of course, we got some forts. Goodbye, forts. I really can't afford you. Thanks for building all these buildings for me, Delhi, though. I really do appreciate it. And soon we'll have our mission done. Alright, might as well insert ourselves into their country.
and keep the claims going. I need to consider who and where to fight. If Swenny gets in our way there, but Tierhut also need to go. I've already got my claim on Tierhut. Do I have a claim on all their friends as well? Hmm, Koch got a little bigger. But Koch have a fair few friends. And a Bengali core. Alright, so Koch also need to go. Heck, they all need to go. So yeah, we'll focus on Tierhut after this, I think. I'm sure I had all these other plans that I would uh, put into motion after this, but I've forgotten them all. That's what having one day of not playing does to you. Jake, I know CS is not compatible with older patches. What happens when you try to play compatibility mode with 111 via Steam? Will achievements work? New achievements will not work. Old achievements might work. I haven't tried. Dry lands, huh? Don't like to throw my troops into the meat grinder, but sometimes needs must. Hmm, did they settle or something? They're in Ikta. How did they manage that? Oh well, it matters not. The fact of the matter is. Now they don't get their horde bonuses, and I might as well ride that for all it's worth. They're going to run away, probably far up north. We'll catch them out. And destroy them. Jake, Yarkan starts as an Ikta. All this time I thought they were a horde. Oh well, for that they die. Although they are being horrifically uh, resistant to my attacks. At least the manpower isn't doing too shabby. That event is just broken. Done and done right. Alright, Pukara requires... Almost everything. Oh well. That's fine. You folks march on the capital. Now Yarkand is probably more than 100% to take over. 158. That's okay. We'll rip them apart so that they are no longer a threat. My armies will be delighted to have uh, more battle experience. Okay, so apparently these are prospering times for Sari Gilgir. Compared to the past, I am uh, going to agree with that. This is the most religious unity we've had since we started, I think, 80%. So we either get l admin, military, or diplo. But it's Garhwal that's getting it all. Uh, not exactly the place I would seek to improve. And it's disgusting Nepali land. Almost makes me want to culture convert it. But no, we need uh, manpower. Since it synergizes so well with our ideas. And we probably won't be going quantity. Uh, I, I think I say that all the time. Just like how we definitely won't be taking uh, religious for sure. But we do anyway. Good to know our ship costs have been reduced for our mighty navy. Jake, do you know any upcoming cosmetic DLCs with CS? Yes, and I've shown some off. Because they do look pretty good. Come now, Ming. Oh boy, Jin Separatists, why? Mandate of Heaven lost. Regency Council for a four-year-old. Hmm. Good luck, Ming. No matter what happens to you, I win. Either you collapse and I get uh, a Chinese buffet, or you don't collapse and I have a strong ally. Hmm. 
You should go for aristocracy, Jake. Um, no, it costs mill points, and I am really not in the mood for taking military ideas, since I need all my mill tech that I can uh, gather in order to get my mill tech up to scratch. Because Russia's going to be coming someday. And Russia ascended to empire rank because of their country formation decision. Terrifying, I know. Alright, Shmarkand is a fantastic province. I just need to feed uh, Bukhara anything and everything I can here. And I'm not really interested in any of this land because, well, it's all this northern garbage. Besides, if I give it to my vassal, I can integrate my vassal spending dip points and not my precious admin, which I'm trying my damnedest to get enough of. I swear the goalposts on how much money I have to make are moving, but that's because my income is changing. At least our manpower situation is passable. Gotta find that loot. Alright, so what will we give? Frankly, I should just assign it all to Bakara and just... Oh, right, what I should do is secure the border with Afghanistan, since I don't want them getting stronger. And if I somewhat um, squeeze Sarig Yogir inside me, then he'll be weakened diplomatically. He probably won't be getting many big friends. I mean, that seems satisfactory. Could do with a bit more money. Yeah. All going to my vassal. And again, my karma just going down the toilet, but it's neither here nor there for me. We got the money, we got the mission, and now it is time to grow ever stronger and ever more aggressive. Also, everyone should really assemble down here in our new, uh, new provinces. Punjabis, Bundelkandis, and Tirhutis. Alright, but they're all people that are down here, so that uh, doesn't bother us at all. Do need those relations kept high, though. The lack of diplomats I find very punishing. What did I even want my next idea to be? I honestly can't remember. Something diplomatic, though, to give me something to spend these points on. But diplomatic itself seems like a bit of a waste. Trade would probably be a good idea if we're going to be uh, getting all this trade on the go. Okay, another outbreak of Rebs, but that's alright. We either take care of it in due time, or our, our friends come and help. And would you look at that, they're on their way. Good to have friends in high places. Alright, Koch are under attack from the dreaded Orissa, and I can't really allow Orissa to get much stronger now, can I? They still have that alliance with Madurai, which makes them fairly terrifyingly strong. Jake, why not use your Diplo power on development? Well, the one place I wouldn't mind developing is this gold province. But no, I, uh, as a horde, I'd rather not be spending a lot of my uh, points on development because I desperately need them for teching. Please get them before they get that siege. Phew. Here, I'll back you up. Because I joined the battle, we all got the extra shock bonus. So good times for all. This is actually working out to my benefit because... What? Ming just rivaled me? Don't like this Regency Council. 
They're too aggressive. How could you do that to me, Ming? Oh well, I'm not about to rival them just yet. Jake, so hordes are OP now. Well, not really. The looting change is nice, but I wouldn't call them overpowered. Alright, do we at least still have a marriage with Ming? No, the only thing we have with Ming is military access, and they're probably going to cancel that for us, but we'll beat them to the punch. And wow. Look at all this religious disunity that I don't have. I'm delighted. Okay, Punjabis want to rise up. Where are they? This is so much nicer than having them all across my country. Seal caught. Okay. I'm on it. I imagine Bukhara will probably have revolts as well. Oh, that was ill-timed. So instead of defending against them, we have to attack into the hills. Oh, okay, right, same province as well. Fine, I can take it. Just get them all killed. Leave behind the infantry since they'll probably just cause us more harm than good. Horde cavalry. Now and forever the best. Like a clever bunny, he increased autonomy in all these provinces. And once he gets the cores down and his war exhaustion down, then he won't have any more uh, revolt risk here. So good going, Bukhara. Clever choice. Tricky thing is that I do want to drag him into other wars. I mean, if I fight you, only Jharkhand would get involved, and Jharkhand needs to be fed to Bengal anyway. Bengal, who is having a bit of Hindu zealot problems, but if the Hindu zealots take over, they'll force him into Hinduism, which is great news for me, actually. Because then he won't convert everything to Sunni, and it'll be easier to convert his lands when I get him inside of me. So dare I say, it's kind of better for me to slow down right now, not go to war. I mean, I'd love to go to war, but... Ah, you didn't get your alliance back with Malwa. You've become rivals, so great, we're safe from that. In the meantime, let's get more cl uh, claims on the go. Where is this Varanasi place? Must be down here somewhere. You there. You're a religious center making you very difficult to convert. Well, better believe it, I'm going to convert you anyway. If only I had more money I could build infrastructure around here and actually have a reasonable area. I mean, those temples do pay themselves off, but... My karma is, uh, it cannot be saved. There's no real point in uh, trying to get it up now. The damage is done. Okay, this is good. I really want them to collapse Bengal so that Bengal becomes Hindu. It'll make them a lot more uh, stable in the long run. And it'll make things a lot easier for me. And this lady, I want her as well. Ah, regrettably, I'm going to take that uh, next military tech. And we might as well get to work on this religious center.